No, no, I get it. You're a music critic, so absolutely verbally demolishing a record is allowed because you're a professional. Never mind the fact that you only listen to the record in question once. You've never listened to the band's other records, and you actually rarely listen to anything similar. But since you call yourself a critic, you must have an expert understanding of every genre in history. I know, you went to college for journalism, but we all also know that the reality is you probably couldn't cut it writing hard news, so you figured you'd start writing about music, because you know, everybody listens to music. But here's the thing, your lack of understanding of the nuances of every single style of music, as well as your lack of understanding of why things sound the way they do, is really obvious. I mean, you can't just walk into a kitchen and start cooking a filet mignon simply because it's a commonly used phrase. You need an understanding of how heat works, how the meat works, how seasoning works, and so many other intangibles that make for a great piece of steak. There's a massive difference between journalists who end up writing about music and people who love music who also can write very well. It's all about the passion and understanding of the content. Seriously, looking at all of your so-called reviews, I'm actually forced to wonder if you actually like music at all, as you've never given a single positive review of anything. Is your life so sad and miserable and unrewarding that you have to take out your frustrations on every new record that crosses your path? No, it's not Led Zeppelin, it's not Nirvana, it's not the Notorious B.I.G. You know why? Because it's not those bands. I get that for some reason people think it's cool to shred a new album, and that negative reviews tend to get a lot more traction than positive ones. But if all you're gonna do is tear apart every single record you can get a hold of, well, that's a pretty sad way to live your life. It's okay to critique an album when it's not great. Hell, I do that every single week. But it's a rare occasion that I've stumbled across a record that has nothing positive about it. Every album has a bright spot, and the more that you ignore them, the less credibility you have. Like it or not, thanks to the internet, everybody is a critic these days. And your only real credentials are your latest post. And taking a negative view on everything you listen to just isn't cool. It doesn't make you sound smarter, it actually makes you sound more arrogant and uninformed. I hate to break it to you, but just because you have a degree in writing doesn't make your arguments any more valid or any more knowledgeable than some random guy who happens to have a video camera in his apartment. Seriously. Hey!